What is it? Sir, sorry to disturb you. Colonel Lewis sent me. What the hell does he want? He wants you to report into headquarters. Sure picked a great time. I'll wait out front in the Jeep, Captain. Why you have to leave, G.I.? Have to, darling. Believe me, I'd rather stay. When you come back and see me? Hopefully soon. I'll give you something you'll always remember Tet for. You number one. Take care, my G.I. Come back as soon as you can. Come back as soon as you can. Good day, Dan. How's it going? Hey, Cobber. Lewis wants to see me. Got a report into the HQ. Why is he pulling you out of bed so early? It's the Vietnamese New Year. Well, if Lewis asks, you didn't see me here, okay? Sure, no problem. As usual. We were waiting in the woods. We popped an enemy colonel and a couple of others. How many of ours did we lose? We had five. An AK shot isn't as nasty as a 5.56 five, five, Yeah, sure. We ground bottom on our way to the extraction. Ah, oh, shoot! Was it an ambush? No, a fucking booby trap. Oh, wow, Hi, guys. You new here? Ah, uh, in this pub. Well, I haven't seen you around before. Uh, we arrived in Nam only yesterday. Hey, shake it a bit, okay? Uh, yes, sir, I'll try, sir. Hey, Jarhead. If all Marines are as mentally fit as you, we're bound to lose the war. Hey, watch your mouth. Get a fuck up on the communist Leave me alone. Well, 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 who comes here? It looks like Saint Boone, the protector of all the cons. Fuck you, Wrigley. You gonna fuck with me every time I turn around? Well, anyway, we're gonna kick their sorry red asses in the end. Oh, yeah. 
you're gonna show those fucking dudes what happens when you fuck with the Marines. Let's have a drink to it. Semper Fi! Sure, Semper Fi. One, two, three, four, United States Marine Corps! Swipe it. Look, this is the 10th bar well, anyway, we've been we're to. we're gonna kick their sorry... What do we hear? Green Beret. Sergeant Hawkins, Camp 8216. Will you leave now, Captain? Orders, Lee. Please come soon, Big G.I. Don't worry, Lee. Good morning, Captain. I've heard about you. I hope only good things, Lieutenant. How's it going, Marines? Everything is okay. Date festival, we celebrate Buku. And then kick ass of Ho Chi Minh. Ho Wo Si. Ho Chi Minh Dog. Yeah, whatever. Whiskey. Okay. Well, well anyway, we're gonna kick their sorry red asses else. in the end. Oh, oh yeah. Another we're gonna show those fucking dudes what happens when you yours. fuck with the Marines. Let's have a drink to it. Semper Fi! Sure. Semper Fi. One, two, three, four, yeah, United well. States... I'm gonna get another beer. Well, anyway, we're gonna kick their sorry red asses in the end. Oh, yeah. We're gonna show those fucking dukes what happens when Fuck with them. So here I go. I was afraid you fell asleep. Okay, okay. Let's stop talking and hit the road. Sorry, sir. Jeez, what a night. Shut up, guys. Sorry, sir. How is it? Is everything calm? Yes, sir. Well, the colonel was looking for you, sir. Damn, this engine's finished. Did you see Colonel Lewis around? I saw him in the main building. This engine's finished. Is the colonel in his quarters? Nah, he was on his way to the office. wrote a letter to my wife yesterday. Huh. You write a letter every single day. What you got left to say? Well, I had to explain to her what Tet means to the Vietnamese. Captain, never heard about it. you happen to know where Lieutenant Campbell is? I didn't either. It's a big day for the Vietnamese. Come we'll see tonight. Uh-huh. Why are they celebrating now? Because of the Chinese calendar. It's their new well, year. Well, I was in Thailand oh, at that time. Oh, yeah, but How many of our men were there you. anyway? All right, I can't Three advisors and a platoon of South Vietnamese. And what was it like there? We were dropping ammo crates from choppers at that point for three days. What about air support? Air cab was dropping bombs like mad. How's it going, Dutch? Hi, Daniel. Not well, and as what about usual. Air evac? Tried that. Lost three of them. Charlie took all the high ground. Well, that to be bad. 
Finally, a hatchet force of South Vietnamese Arvin Rangers saved their asses. Captain! Sir, Captain Boone reporting. Good morning, Dan. You wanted to see me, sir? We received an invitation from the mayor for a toast in the town hall. Well, sir, but what do I have to do with that? The command is sending a journalist who's working on a report about our advisors in Vietnam. I've assigned him to your unit. That's why you're going to go to that reception with him. Of course, sir. They should arrive at any moment. Go pick them up at the landing zone. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Aren't there newsmen waiting for you? Captain, you happen to know where Lieutenant Campbell is? Hello, my name's Jimmy Davis, and this is my cameraman, Peter Schultz. Good morning, gentlemen. Captain Daniel Boone. How was the journey? Good, thanks, Captain. Unfortunately, flying is not one of Peter's favorite activities. That's okay, Schultz. Come on. I'll show you to your quarters. Well, it's not the Hilton. I'm sure the jungle's a lot worse. <laughs> you bet. You'll see for yourself. But tonight, we have some Tet celebrations to attend to. So, Boy Scout, head to the town hall. The party awaits. Sorry about Schultz. He's really sick. This is bigger than the 4th of July. Nah, it reminds me more of incoming fire. Just a little pretty. Yeah, but nobody dies. We'll see how you feel about that in a few days. Get you inside before you miss all the chit chat photo ops. Tôi xin lỗi, anh không được vào. Captain không Boone. Không được vào đâu. Good evening, sir. Come inside. Captain Boone, the party's going to start. Shouldn't we go in? I'm sure the commies wouldn't dare pull off anything big. I wouldn't be that sure. I know them pretty well. Believe me, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, Mr. Davis, if I'm not mistaken, let me welcome you to Quay. Good evening, sir. I'm Major Walsh, second in Mac V command for this area. Can I accompany you upstairs? Captain, we'll meet upstairs. Sorry, Captain. The area is up limits. Sorry, sir. Nobody's around there. Dear friends, Huey City residents, allow me to wish you and your beautiful country luck and success in the following year, as well as a victorious ending of our joint campaign to ensure peace and stability for your country. Let us drink to the restoration of the glory of an independent Vietnam. Captain, could you ask someone to let us go upstairs? The view of the city must be great from up there. I have to speak to Colonel Lewis to ask about it. I'm sorry, 
but this part of the building is closed. Dude, I have to yes. speak to Colonel Lewis to get Let permission to go upstairs. Death together. First, I would like Colonel, to thank our the reporter wants to go upstairs. He allies. says he will have a better view for photos. This war. Let us drink to I'll victory. Ask the mayor. Enjoy the party. Mr. Mayor, one of our newsmen wants to take photos of the city. Can he go upstairs? It's no problem. I'll inform security. Please, may I have your attention? I'm on duty in Quay for a third tour already. And this time, our forces are really pushing the VC hey, and the NBA Boone, what away. what are you doing here? I'm sure you got a our news last to take care of. Good evening, Captain. Vietnam. How's the so, city project friends, going? Let's enjoy Overall, the Cheers. project is exceeding our expectations. Unfortunately, our training camp is overrun. There is an open office upstairs. You can go there. Dear gentlemen, may I say something? There is no doubt that the I guess we can go now. I just got back from 8216 camp on the Cambodian border. Our camp was wiped out by the NBA. They keep coming down the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Things here are not lily white, and they sure as hell don't smell like roses. Charlie is still lurking in the shadows. The mayor ready says to it's strike. okay to go upstairs. And I guess we can expect something very soon. Call me a pessimist. But there is no total victory anywhere in sight. I have to disagree with you, Captain. They may try to attack camps on the border, but they wouldn't dare do something here. It's just a matter of time. Great. Here's a nice view of the central square. I'll take some snapshots. God, you're alive, Captain. Were you hit? Just shook up. I'm okay. See any blood on me? What's happened? There's fighting everywhere. Dunno. Probably an attack. Stay close to me. We gotta get away from here. Captain, do you have a gun? No. Last time I took a gun to a party. I'll never look back. Shit. Quickly, we have to get outside. Captain, here. This Come door's on, open. Yeah. Through the window. M1911, good old reliable one. Feel a little better. Thank God you're alive, Captain. Were you hit? Just shook up. I'm okay. See any blood on me? What's happened? There's fighting everywhere. Dunno. Probably an attack. Stay close to me. We gotta get away from here. Captain, do you have a gun? No. Last time I took a gun to a party. Well, never mind. Shit. Quickly, we have to get outside! <laughs> Through the window! Shut up and run for that window! Now! I don't feel safe at all here. M 1911. Good old reliable one. Feel a little better now. Okay, it's 
just a flesh wound. Keep moving. Follow me. Davis, grab a pistol from this guy. You need a gun. No, 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 no way. I'm supposed to be non-combat. Davis, pick up the damn gun or you're gonna die. Okay. We don't have time for this. Hey! A broadcasting studio! Forget it, Davis. We have to get outside quickly. Good shot, Davis. Now you have your first confirmed kill. Oh, no, no. I'm not a killer. Never mind. That's just war. Down the stairs. Watch it. If I make it out of here alive, I'm gonna kill my editor. I don't feel safe at all here. I thought this was supposed to be a ceasefire! You can't believe anything they tell you in this goddamn. Take cover, Davis! 